Hey everyone, in this video tutorial we will be solving the monkey trouble exercise in the Java warm-up 1 section of codingbat.com. Let's get started. The information we are given is we have two monkeys, A and B, and the parameters A smile and B smile indicate if each is smiling. We are in trouble if they are both smiling or if neither of them is smiling. Return true if we are in trouble. So let's go over that one more time. We return true and that means we're in trouble. If A is smiling and B is smiling or we return true and that again means we're in trouble. If A is not smiling and B is not smiling. So let's set up the code for this first case, the return true if A is smiling and B is smiling. So it's a simple if statement. If a smile and that returns a value true or false so we don't need to go equals true because it already evaluates it true and B is smiling so we'll put our and in there B smile what do we want to do return true that case is complete so the next one we want to do is the case of if A is not smiling and B is not smiling so let's write this out if and this is the not operator, the exclamation mark. If not a smile and not b smile, that means if they are both not smiling, we also want to return true. So if the code gets past this, that means those two cases are not the ones that we are looking for. So we're going to return false here. So let's see if this works. Hey, it works. Congrats. But this is also not the most optimized solution. In these tutorials, I'm going to try and get the most optimized solution that we can, but I won't always get there. So if you notice here, this if and this if, it's almost like an or. So what we can do is we can put this after this, but with an or statement afterwards. So because they both turn, return true, it's saying if that's return true or if that return true. We can just put them together. So what I'm going to do is take this, cut it out, and combine them with an OR, which is that double line thing. And then we can just get rid of this statement altogether. Let's see if that works. Hey, that works too. Now if you notice, if this evaluates to true, this whole statement, we return true. And if it evaluates to false, we return false. Well, since it evaluates to the same value as we return, we can just return the output of this. So what we can do, let's go return and go to the end of that. And that would be our only statement. We can get rid of this. Let's test it out. It works. Congrats everybody. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial.